Hello and welcome to the second part of our Nginx unit video series. In this video, we will discuss the benefits of having a dynamic application server and give an example of how easy it is to upgrade a component of your application without disruption to the entire system. In the example, the environment consists of multiple apps created in multiple languages, which is quite typical for a large project, and now we have to manage multiple software stacks. This becomes even more complicated when we run multiple versions of the languages. But having Nginx Unit as the single server vastly simplifies infrastructure management. Let's take a look. We're running a tried and true application in Python 2 and our developers are ready to send us the new version, which is now upgraded to run on Python 3. We now need to deploy it without disruption, keeping in mind that we also have services running in Ruby, PHP, Perl, and Go. Create the JSON file with the application info. Then we'll send the API request. Next, we'll send an API call to add a temporary listener. You can now see that our original application written in Python 2 running in production is listing on port 8500, and it's running side by side with your new Python 3 application running in development and listening on the temporary port 8800. Next, we'll test the new Python 3 app by sending it a bit of traffic. Once we've ensured the new application is running smoothly, we'll use an API call to reassign the listener to the new application. Now production traffic starts going to the new application, and we can take some time to ensure the new application is working correctly with the production traffic. If everything looks good, we'll delete the old application from the configuration, then we'll delete the temporary listener on port 8800. Finally, your new production Python 3 application is up and running. As you can see from this example, upgrades and updates to your application can be achieved with zero downtime and zero interruptions to other applications within the same environment. Try it for yourself today at unit.nginx.org.